This is Curtis coming at you from Ace Per Head Studios, once again, covering the NFL 2021-22 uh, now season. Going to take a look at some big news that hit the Tennessee Titans. Titans are a team that I've been fascinated with for quite some time. This year really sparked my interest. Vrabel's a guy that I just think is a special coach. I love the physical style of play. I love that it's a run-centric team. And as a Dolphins fan, uh, Tannehill was somebody I always kind of support. Really was expecting the Titans to beat the Bengals and to, and to really start pouring uh, my time and attention on them through the playoffs and into the offseason, into next season. Uh, began because it's such a fascinating team to me. But the surprising defeat to the Bengals kind of like messed that plan up. And I'm sure for you Titans fans, it's, it's far worse. Now, as soon as I got done watching that game, I was really wondering, are they going to kick the tires to try to find somebody to replace Tannehill? But recent news that came out from um, GM John Robinson basically said, Ryan's our quarterback. We're looking forward to going forward with him. Can't get him back in here. He's our type of guy, yada, yada, yada. And this was revolving around whether the Titans were going to be able to bring in Aaron Rodgers. Now, obviously, from a football standpoint, Aaron Rodgers is, you know, way better than Tannehill. And him on the roster in a... Um, in a vacuum, just in a football talent vacuum, there's no comparison. Henry would just run all day because teams couldn't stack the box with Rodgers. But there's a reality that I didn't understand when I was kind of wondering if they were going to kick the tires. And there's a reality that's, you know, that really made this whole Rodgers to Titans thing invalid. And that is cap space, money. The cap is flexible. You can bend it, but you can't just break it. And right now, the Titans are minus $7 million, uh, over the cap. And so they got to make up $7 million just to get to zero. And you're going to have free agents. They're going to, even if it's a small amount, you're going to have uh, rookies. So you're going to have to deal with that situation. Next year, they're at plus 59, and that kind of changes things. But at minus seven, there's really no way that you can bring Rodgers in. Even if you cut Tannehill, he's got 57 million of dead space if you do it pre-June with minus 18 in savings. If you do it post-June, it's 18 million in dead cap space and zero in savings. You know, that's a little bit more manageable, but at you're talking at minus seven plus the 18, you got to make 25 million up and then add Rogers' salary. This is not going to happen. You'd have to blow up the whole team. And Vrabel and Robinson have a um, team oriented concept and it's worked for them. I mean, you've gone, you've got the top seed in the AFC, you've been to the playoffs, you went to the conference championship. And I know this is a disappointing loss, Titans fan, but there really is no way forward this year except with Tan Hill. And in truth, when I went back over the tape and I saw how the Bengals were able to really minimize the greatest strength of this team, which is the run game, you know, part of that was Henry wasn't totally healthy. You could see it. I mean, he was pretty good for a guy who'd been out that long. I mean, really good. But he wasn't totally healthy. The blocking, the offensive line was beaten a little bit. And yeah, that pick at the beginning by Tannehill really hurt. And that pick at the end really killed you. And you could have won it or possibly could have won it if it wasn't for that pick. But a little bit of moral victory out of this. It, you were defeated by the AFC rep representatives of the Super Bowl who went into Kansas City and beat Kansas City by only three points with all the injuries you had all season, with Tannehill throwing those two picks, and a semi-gimpy Henry. And I know it's like, there's definitely, I'm sure there's some contingent saying Tannehill is not, not going to win with them. I still think you can. And I think that what you're doing here, to me, reminds me of what they did with Cowart in Pittsburgh. They kept building around a great coach, bringing the team, the players in to make a team concept. And they kept knocking 
and knocking. And maybe when they had a Donald, they went to the Super Bowl and lost. But they kept knocking and knocking until they finally got it right. Because if you keep building it the right way and you got the right leaders, ultimately it will come. I think that's going to happen. Now next year, uh, with $59 million, you might be able to take a look at someplace else aside from Tannehill. I think it's more like 2024. But there's opportunities to find quarterbacks maybe late or cheaper free agents or other options. But this year, you're locked into Tannehill. And when you look over, you know, you can restructure Tannehill. And I think that can, in two, this year, it can free up $21 million and then restructure 2022, turn that into like guaranteed money and free up $17 million. So the next year or two, you can still develop that team concept. And I really don't think you have much opportunity, uh, much choice other than that. But I do believe that even with Tannehill, you guys can go for Because when you go through that game, there were some great plays by Tannehill. It's just those hiccups and the fact that you weren't able to run. Now, you look over the players, Zach Cunningham, if you cut him, you get $10.5 million. But he was a big part of that run defense. It was a good move. I don't see you moving on from him because Landry's a free agent. I don't see you being able to maintain, uh, retain Landry. So Zach Cunningham's a nice alternative. And then um, Roger Saffold, to me, seems like the target to cut. 2.3 million dead space with 10.5 million in savings. He was a big piece to the puzzle. When you can see when he came back, he really helped the run game build up and to, to really take that next step. And it's going to be hard to let him go, but he's a little weak in the pass protection department. Then you got Taylor Luan, 1.7 in dead space. If you let him go on 12.9 in savings, but as a tackle, he's much harder a place. So to me, restructuring Tannehill, maybe moving on from Saffold if you need that extra money and getting 10.5, because that would free up 31 million. Minus the seven puts you in around $23 million to spend, which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Plus, there's probably other restructures you can do as well. So I think that the Titans are set up. I know some fans are surely just, they don't really feel it with Tannehill. They're, they're kind of thinking maybe he's a dead end. And maybe ultimately he is. But Vrabel, Robinson, the, the framework of this team, Again, I think it's like the Steelers. I think you're going to keep on knocking. Eventually, the door is going to get kicked open. Now, the problem, you're missing a second with the Jones trade, but you're getting a fourth back in compensatory picks. So to me, drafting a lineman, even though you had a problem like two years ago with the crazy guy you drafted, the tackle lost his mind, that really hurt your team build. But I think it's going to have to be an offensive lineman, whether it's a guard or whether it's a tackle. In that first round, I think that could free things up and open things up. Some good drafting, some cheap quality free agents are really going to help you out. But I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys progress. I really think that you're going to contend again. It's going to be a very dangerous team going forward. So this is Curtis saying, Titans fans, have faith. You guys are a well-run organization. And the success might not have reached the ultimate point yet, and it's a little disappointing, but I believe it's going to come for you at some point. You have the right framework, and that's very hard. As a Dolphins fan, <laughs> trust me, it's a lot easier said than done. This is Curtis saying, thank you for staying 10. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comments mean the most. I really want to put the Titans into the rotation uh, going forward, and whatever you fans can really point out to help me become a better provider of information and content for you that will really help. I really want to become competent in my understanding of the Titans for this 2022 season. I'm going to cover you guys in free agency and the draft and going forward. Got some film studies for you as well. Anyway, thank you for staying to the end. Catch you next time. Be well. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.